welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video all about my brow tattoo. So I've got no makeup on, I've actually just gotten out of the shower and I just thought I would do this video with clean sort of fresh skin so that you can see how the brow tattoo looks like in I guess real life without having makeup and stuff on. Plus I kind of couldn't be bothered putting makeup on. I've worn makeup for the last five days and I think I need to give my skin a break. Okay, so I've got some notes and stuff here in front of me to go through to talk about my brow tattoo. So first things first, um, I had my brows tattooed by Hayley Christopher. She owns a business in Maryborough called Butterfly Inc. I will put all of her details and links to her Facebook page um, in the comment of, in the description box down below so that you can go straight to her page and see all of the bits and pieces and details. So the reason why I decided to have my brows tattoo is I have extremely sparse brows. Um, I will be inserting some pictures sort of throughout this video so you can see um, where I've sort of come from. But if you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll have seen before I had my brows done that I had really sparse brows. And it was just one of those things that I felt self-conscious about myself. Um, I didn't mind when I had full makeup on because I could fill in my brows. But when I was wearing no makeup or I was at the beach, I did feel really self-conscious about having no brows and I kind of felt like it made my skin, well not my skin, but made my whole face look naked. And now I'm so happy with how it all just sort of balances out. That's how I feel about it. But you know, I'm not pressuring anybody to go and get their brows done. Um, it's just a personal decision that I decided and that I wanted to do as well. So I mean, I've been thinking about this for more than 12 months, maybe even up to two years, thinking about whether I'd get this done. Um, and I had actually previously made a couple of bookings at other places, but chickened out. And when I saw Haley had a business here, I went in and had a consultation with her and she just made me feel so comfortable and she answered every single question that I had. And then she gave me even more information that I didn't realize that I needed to ask about either so I'm gonna go through um, some information on her page so that um, you guys know sort of what I'm talking about okay so what you should expect um, the process is a semi-permanent cosmetic tattoo and it has a three-part process so the first is your initial procedure so you don't um, have to have a consultation separate. I just decided that that's what I wanted to do to talk to her first before I made the booking to actually have my brows tattooed. Um, so she will put on a topical anesthetic over your whole brow area and it stays on there, I think it's about 20 minutes. And in that time, she will measure the whole brow area and um, drawn draw on where she's going to tattoo your brows. Now she makes sure that she, you are 100% happy with how the brow shape is. It may be different to what you're used to and that was the case with me, but now I am so happy. And I think it's more that I wasn't used to seeing myself with brows every day. So that was a bit of a process that I needed to go through, but I knew that at the end I would be very, very happy. So I just kind of got over it, I guess. So you can do two types of hair strokes, I guess you can have a feather stroke or you can have shading. Now feather stroke obviously is like tiny little hairs itself and then shading is to add extra bulk. Um, when I first went in for my first brow tattoo, she did feather strokes and then when I went in for my touch up last week, she did some shading just in this front part to fill it out a little bit more. So, yeah, so the strokes can sometimes be a bit scarcer after your first procedure. Um, so then extras will be added in at your touch up as well. So with the healing process, um, basically in the first sort of one to three days, um, your brows are gonna be pretty dark and by about day three, they are gonna be the darkest they're ever going to be. And I did find that if I put a little bit of makeup on, it didn't look quite so dramatic. Think Angry Bird brows and that's kind of the process that you're gonna be in and it is gonna be a little bit scary, but you've gotta remember that you are gonna lose between 40 and 60% of color after the brows heal as well. So I'm gonna insert a picture right now of day one, two, and three of how my brows looked. 
So day one is the day that I got the brow tattoo. Uh, day two, obviously, is the next day, and then day three, and you'll see how much darker my brows are. The process of healing is different to everybody as well. So I did find that the second time around my touch up, my healing process was a lot quicker. And what I talk about is this healing process is your skin will like where the brow is, will scab and sort of flake off. Don't pull off the scabbing or anything like that because it will come off when it's ready. And I'll put in some pictures just now of days four, five, and six, and you'll see that on day six that one of my brows, I think, I'm pretty sure it was this one, sort of had a little bit of healed and a little bit of scab, a little bit of healed. So it did look really, really patchy, especially where the healed part was because the tattoo underneath is so much lighter. So once that had all sort of um, come off, the brows looked amazing. And now I'll put in straight after this, um, I think it'll be day seven, eight, and nine, and you'll see that they have like come to the point where my brows are looking at the moment as well. So I'll put those in now. So they should give you um, some tattoo cream. This is it here, it's called After Inked. Um, so whether they give it to you in a little um, sample pot or in a big tube like this. And this basically just helps with the healing process. So you start putting it on from day two, uh, so 24 hours after you've had, whoops. So 24 hours after you've had your tattoo done and you just basically need to put it on. I used a cotton tip just to make sure it was really nice and sanitary, didn't double dip or anything like that into, into the little pot and just placed it over the top and then just patted it in with my fingers, clean fingers of course, just to make sure there's no infection or anything like that. Um, what else? So then about six weeks after you've had your brow tattoo done, you need to have a touch up. Um, so this enhances the color, like the strokes or the powder or that sort of shading and it aids in the longevity of your tattoo. Um, it also gives you an opportunity to um, change the shape if you need to and correct any imperfections that might have happened during the healing process. Like I did find that it was a little bit patchy on this side that I lost a fair bit of color sort of in the top part of my arch of my brow on this side and also in the beginning of my brow on this side. So that's all being corrected and we just filled them out a little bit more as well. Um, sometimes you can need a second touch up. It just depends on your skin and how your skin's gonna take to the brow tattoo. Um, but the tattoo can last anywhere between 12 months to five years. Um, so I will be going back every 12 months to have a touch up just so that the brows look amazing all the time and because I'm just so loving them so much so um, I think the most important thing is that you need to do your aftercare properly look after your brows make sure you don't get them sunburnt put sunscreen on them it's just like a normal tattoo if you don't want them to fade um, put sunscreen on them if you're out in the sun, wear a hat, um, look after the brows in that healing process and I think that's, yeah, and then if you care for it properly it's going to last and look amazing for a lot longer. Okay, so I'm going to insert a picture now and it's basically one that Haley has taken the first day that um, when I didn't have any brow tattoo whatsoever. And then after the very first brow tattoo, and then again at my touch up where she's actually outlined my brows and made sure it's all nice and aligned. And then, then the last picture at the bottom is basically after my touch up. Brow, you're probably gonna wanna know, does it hurt? Um, there is a little bit of pain, but I wouldn't say it's anything too massive it's I don't think it hurt any more than what a normal tattoo hurts um, 
she'll do three passes of the actual tattoo. Probably the first pass is the bit that hurts the most because she is sort of really creating the shape. And I think it's the noise more than anything. It's like this sort of noise that as she's doing it, um, and then when she puts the color, so like it's a little tool that she uses with a little like a scalpel end sort of thing, and that's what she creates the hair strokes with. And then she'll put the color over the top, um, and the color does sting a little bit because it's going in to those little cuts, I guess you put in your skin. Um, yeah, so she'll do three passes on each brow. It's probably all done within an hour and a half to two hours, depending on how long it takes for that. Um, the I've had a turn line block for the shape that she's going to do on you. Um, so with the color side of things, she's got a huge chart of different colors, and um, at the first consult. She'll actually put the colours up here on your forehead so you can see, you know, between your brow and your own hair colour, which colour suits you the best. Um, I think I had a mix of about three different colours to get the colour. We went a slightly bit more darker again at the touch-up, um, just because I like to dye my hair a little bit darker as well. Um, oh, you can't have put water on them until day three. So you, my big suggestion is to, is to stock up on makeup remover wipes. Um, and also micellar water, just so that you can be really, really careful going around your brows um, to make sure if you've got any makeup or anything like that on, just to make sure you get everything off, that kind of thing. Um, on day three, you can get them wet, but it's not like you're trying to dunk your head under the water. I think it was only really today, which is day seven, that I fully put my head under the shower and let water sort of drizzle down onto my brows as well. Um, and then you can't actually put any makeup products like fill in your brows or anything like that until after day 10, um, which will be the end of the week for me. So, um, what else can I tell you about? I think that I've covered everything and I've inserted enough pictures so you can see the actual process itself. Um, if you've got any questions or comments or anything like that, leave them in the description box down below and I'll hopefully be able to answer them for you. If not, I'm sure that Hayley will be able to. And I just want to say a huge shout out to Hayley because She's honestly changed my life. I never thought that I would be so happy to have brows, um, you know, 24 seven. And I think, you know, I don't know. I, I'm just so, I'm so, so happy. And I know that all of my friends who've been to see her are so happy with her as well. So. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video guys and I'll see you in my next one. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Bye!